Hi guys, it's Ayo Soho, aka The Prep Guy, and today I want to talk to you about my favorite topic, which is skincare and grooming. Now, in front of me, I have a bunch of my favorite products. These are all of my current favorites, so I'm not going to break it down um, into all of my favorites because that'll be a never-ending video, but maybe we can make it into a series on the channel. Um, and first of all, I just want to say thank you for watching and please give me a little subscribe um, because I want to keep on doing these videos and if nobody's watching and nobody's subscribing, I'm gonna stop. Um, so, so yeah, please be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because there's an algorithm for it. Um, all right, so the first thing I want to talk about is my favorite product right now, which is the uh, Age Defender Dull Action Exfoliating Cleanser. It's a long, it's a long ass name, but it's by Kiehl's, um, and it's a exfoliating face wash, and it can be used as a mask as well. Um, it's a charcoal mask, so it really leaves your skin looking vibrant and smoother and it just makes you look really freaking good right after you use it um so you could actually just use it on the go just wash your face with, with the cleanser or you can leave it on for 10 minutes and use it as a mask really great product now the next product i do want to talk about which is one of my all-time favorites as well is the age defender serum from uh kiehl's as well kiehl's is one of my favorite skincare brands especially for men um they really do an excellent job when it comes to men's skincare. Um, this one is really great for reducing wrinkles, uh, well, the, the looks of wrinkles. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's gonna take your wrinkles backwards. Um, and it just makes your skin look really lifted and tightened and um, toned and just smooth and beautiful. So I really do appreciate this product. And over time, it does help with dark spots um, and you'll have long-term results with this product as well, which is really great. Um, Kills is a little bit on the pricier end of products, um, but they are absolutely hands down my most loved products. Uh, so for example, I have the Facial Fuel Face Wash, Energizing Face Wash by Kills, and this is just one of three bottles that I keep in my house. <laughs> I keep it in uh, my shower, so this one I use um, by my, like, my sink. Um, it's one liters, and then I have another liter um, in my shower so I can wash my face while I'm showering. And then I have just like the to-go ones um, in case I'm going to be sleeping at a friend's house or anything like that. Um, it has vitamins and like caffeine in it, so it really does help you feel awake after using it. Um, and I really do love that feeling first thing in the morning because if I don't use this and I don't have a coffee, I'm going to look groggy and awful um so that's hands down my favorite skin face wash of all time um and that's something i could use on a regular basis whereas this product i would only recommend using like three times a week maximum but i typically use it like once or twice a week so i re wouldn't really go ham with that product because that's going to dry out your skin um but now on to uh, a little bit of a more affordable side of things. We have the L'Oreal Men Expert Face and Beard Moisturizer. This product, first of all, it smells phenomenal. Um, second of all, it has an amazing consistency and it just, it smells, oh my god, it just smells so good, like a really good aftershave. <laughs> But it just makes your skin feel really nice and hydrated for a really long period of time uh, without it making it look greasy, which I really do appreciate about men's skincare products. Um, they're formulated in a way where your skin doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of skincare and it's very sheer layers, uh, but that are super effective. And what I really like about this as well in your beard, like I'm gonna use some in my beard. If you're going out for an event and your beard's looking a little bit dull, you could blend this into your beard and it just makes it look a little bit more shiny. I mean, I'm a little bit far away from the camera so you probably won't be able to see that, uh, but it does work, I promise. Um, and the next product I'm going to talk about is a absolute favorite of mine, especially when it comes to lip care. It is on the pricier end of things, like this little thing right here is a lip exfoliator from Fresh Beauty, and it's like $30. Um, but honestly, I've never used a lip exfoliator that's this freaking good. It has like the right amount of uh, moisture in it, and uh, the perfect amount of like 
sugar or whatever they use the brown sugar in it to really just get your dead skin cells off without being too wet because I've used one by Bite Cosmetics and that one's good but it just has too much syrup in it um, where it just doesn't really get in there and take away any of those dead skin cells but this one it just like takes it away and then leaves behind a really nice moisturized feeling but regardless of that, I would really recommend going in with a lip moisturizer. Uh, so my three favorite lip moisturizers at the moment are from Luxitan. They have a 24 hours one, which is phenomenal. Um, Ori Bay, and then there's Bite Cosmetics. Oh wait, there's four. Um, and then there's the Jack Black uh, SPF 25. The reason I really do enjoy this one is because of its SPF properties. Um, and if you don't use that, I, I get like dark marks and hyperpigmentation all over my face. So it really does help with my face because um, I do have hyperpigmentation on my lips as well. Uh, so I really do enjoy this product. It does require a you to keep it on you and moisturize your lips throughout the day but it it's necessary in canadian winters so i really 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 do recommend this product and it's like ten dollars at sephora um i usually keep a bunch of them like in all my coats and my bags and just have it organized that way so i never leave it behind so the next product i am going to talk about is also from that uh face Jack Black, what am I talking about? I'm mixing up all the names. Um, there's all these products in front of me. It's by Jack Black. It's a double duty face moisturizer with SPF 20. This guy is absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's very, like, really, really moisturizing, but it just doesn't leave behind any of that um, residue either. Like, it's one of those ones that kind of it, 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 I, I like a lot of skincare for men that I think they try to make it really mattifying. Um, this one isn't mattifying. It does look like you've drank a lot of water and you're really hydrated, but um, it, it really does do its job and it's not extremely slick looking. It just looks really phenomenal. Um, and it's a great layering product if you are using serums, if you're using uh, makeup or whatever you may be using, this is a great product that I would highly recommend. Um, you could get this at Sephora as well, I believe, or Jack Clark's website. So the next product I do want to talk about, this has the world's longest name and I always mess it up, but it's also by Fresh Beauty. This is a black tea kombucha facial treatment essence. Now this guy is, um, they call it like an anti-pollution age delaying serum toner sort of situation. But I actually do really like it for that purpose and it also helps minimize your pores. So uh, what I would recommend is if you are using a toner and I do have a more affordable uh, toner that I love as well. This is by Aveeno um, and this is the Positively Radiant Toner. Um, regardless of your toners, I, I don't really care if I'm splurging on them or not, but I use it right after I exfoliate and then I would um, use hot water just to create steam into my face to open up the pores and then I would use a cleanser and then I would close it up by using a toner um, and that just helps bring your, I don't know, it just makes you look 10 times younger. I don't know. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and everyone gave that advice and everybody looked freaking bomb right after. Okay, so don't blame it on me. Um, and speaking of Vibino, this is a positively radiant intensive night cream and I used to be obsessed with the Origins Mega Mushroom line and they had this moisturizer which was like $80 uh, Canadian and I mean it was my favorite moisturizer hands down, don't get me wrong, but I couldn't justify using $80 like once a month on just a moisturizer, it's a little bit much. But this guy is like $20 from, um, I don't know if it will let me focus on this, I don't know. Um, I'll have everything linked into uh, the description anyways, but this guy is like $20 from any Walmart or anything like that. Um, and what I really enjoy about this product is that it's super hydrating um, and it could be used as more of a mask. So if you really layer up before you go to bed, then you could use it more of as a treatment. Um, but I like using it in the daytime as well, even though it is for night, night usage. Um, but for me, it just really does work as a really deep moisturizing product and like I said the Canadian winters they dry you out okay so uh, that is a phenomenal product it's hands down one of my favorite um 
I actually am missing my eye cream. I don't know where it went, but it's from Body Shop. It's a vitamin E and I'm honestly, I've been using that for five years in a row. Um, and it's my favorite eye cream. Um, I use my ring finger to dab it in. It's not here, I don't know where it went. Uh, <laughs> and I had a bunch of them, so I don't know where they went, but it's absolutely phenomenal and I do really love that product as well. And this is another serum that I do love. It's the Pump It Up Serum by Body Blitz. Um, and I believe it's a vitamin C based serum, which is why I love it because my skin can tend to look a little bit dull in winter, which is pretty common. Um, and if you don't use a vitamin enriched serum sometimes, the only thing I hate about this product, I mean, don't like about this product is its pump is a little bit faulty, but it is just honestly the best vitamin based serum that I've ever used in my life. Like honestly, it really brought life back to my face in this horrible season. And even just using it on the back of your hand, you can see how well it works. Um, and just makes everything look really plump, juicy, glowy. Um, everything that you would want to look like. And putting on the face, you look a lot younger. Um, and I think I'm down to my final three products. Okay, good. So <laughs> this product is a absolute necessary must have for every single person, male, female, anybody. Um, it is the Elta MD UV Defense SPF 45. And now the biggest skincare mistake people make is they purchase foundation or they purchase a moisturizer that has a little bit of SPF and they believe it will just be the right amount of sunscreen for your whole entire day. And that's not true uh, you really do need to moisturize and use a separate like full-out sunscreen and this one is SPF 45 it is a actual sunscreen that is super lightweight it doesn't leave a film behind um, I'm a person of color so I really am wary of that like I don't want to look like Casper the ghost or uh, anything like that um, it has a little bit of uh, transparent zinc and zinc is usually the uh, usually the product in the sunscreens that leaves behind a white film but this has transparent zinc so that was a smart move on their part um and it's a little bit moisturizing as well but i really would suggest every single time you use this um use it after you use your cleanse uh, your cleanser then your serum then your sunscreen and then your moisturizer on top and you'll be good to go um and speaking of moisturizers this guy is an interesting product. It is by Lab Series, um, which is one of my favorite skincare products for men as well. Um, and it's Instant Filter Moisturizer. I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know if I said that wrong. Um, yeah, this product is really cool. It's really unique. It's kind of like they mix a blurring primer into a moisturizer. Um, and it really does look like, almost like you're wearing foundation that's transparent, that's just smoothing out your skin. Um, and even if I put it on the back of my head, you guys aren't going to be able to see any of this. This is my first YouTube video. Shame on you, Sayed. Um, I should have hired someone for this, whatever. Um, this is just like a really good product. It makes you look like you have a little bit of product on your face, like foundation, um, because it's blurring out your skin and making you look a little bit smoother. Um, but I really do love that product. I, I personally don't like layering with that product. I feel like that becomes too, too much. Um, so I, I could only use it on a day that I'm not wearing makeup on top. And uh, this is the final product I'm going to talk about. And I'm going to say that this is a product that I feel like every man can use. But um, I, I know a lot of men are uncomfortable for some crazy reason uh, when it comes to wearing makeup. But I really don't think this counts as makeup in my opinion. Uh, but it's a brow pencil. Um, and I think brow pencils are important because some guys like myself, if I don't use one, it looks like I have no eyebrows on and it's crazy, like I was born that way. Um, so I really do need to fill, fill them in on a daily basis. And this one's by L'Oreal. It's called the Brow Stylist Definer um, Ultra Fine Tip Shaping Pencil. And it is in the shade Dark Brunette. This is absolutely my perfect shade. I'm not going to try to play myself and do my brows uh, far, far away from the camera. But it's absolutely beautiful and it has um, the brush wand on the back side. Um, and it just, it, it's like the perfect amount of product for your skin um, and for your brows just to look really full but natural at the same time. I've never been clocked for wearing this. Like people always assume that it's my natural brows, which I really do like about this product. I pick it up at Shoppers. 
Um, I think it retails for like 17 Canadian, but you could get it on sale at all times, pretty much. Well, not at all times, but you could find it on sale a lot of the times for like $10. So it's a really great product that I love. So I hope this video was a little bit informative. I know I talked a lot and I talked really quickly, uh, but I hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Follow me on all social media, at the prep guy, especially on Instagram. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, at the prep guy, and be sure to subscribe to this channel. Um, if you have any other products that you would like me to check out or you recommend yourself, uh, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. And if there's any uh, more questions that you have, you can feel free to tweet me at the prep guy, DM me on Instagram. Like I literally respond to every single person um, and I have quite a lot of followers. So uh, I really do take the time to respond to every single person. Um, yeah, and thank you for watching.